Hello guys! In my previous English videos I was uh, preparing the commentary and reading it from the paper but I believe I sounded like a robot so I decided that I'm gonna freestyle this time hopefully uh, it will be pleasant, more pleasant to your ears uh, than previously uh, and you can bear all my language mistakes during the winter season I took part in five rounds of uh, indoor off-road racing and I really loved it so I decided that I'm ready to uh, try true off-road and that's why I decided to purchase this 1.8 scale buggy the model I've bought from uh, Mati Racing thanks Mateusz for all your help and support during uh, this process in terms of the equipment I've used I've decided to go for a Hobbywing sensor combo the engine I've chosen was Hobbywing SD4268 this is the 1900 kV motor the ESC I've chosen is also Hobbywing, uh, it's um, XR8 SCT. Uh, it's supposed to be designed for short courses. This ESC has 140 amps and I believe this is enough. There is a bigger version of this ESC which, which has 150 amps. I have bought a Chinese Gotex servo for this model. It's 90 kilograms and quite fast, it's 0. Uh, 07 seconds uh, it's high voltage combo brushless and full metal of course and it's really really fast I've tested it quite a while and I'm really I really like this product so I can recommend this you can buy this from Hobby King I've started the build of this truck uh, with uh, the differentials they're all the same in terms of the oil in the differentials uh, looking from the very front of the car I went for 7000 CST, 5000 and 3000. Uh, of course uh, I don't know if this is the proper setup because uh, you need to uh, tune it for, for the track and test it but this is my way to start and my uh, starting point. I really like the quality of plastics in this kit. Uh, it feels to me very solid and reliable. Of course, uh, I will give it a test on my local truck, but the first rides, which I've already made, uh, showed me that this rig is really, really, really solid. And even my poor driving hasn't killed anything yet, so that's that's nice. Sometimes you can see that I work with gloves of my hands and I believe this is uh, quite important because it gives you much better grip on your screwdriver and it's very important while you are working with such a strong and hard plastic so you don't get any blisters because of uh, twisting screwdriver in your hand. In some plastic parts in this model you can find the socket in which you should put the nut. Uh, after placing it positioning correct I highly, highly recommend uh, pouring it with the acrylic glue 
super glue so it doesn't that doesn't twist in the future when you would like to unscrew the screw from the model At this point in time I have found only one issue I have with this uh, with this rig and which I don't really like is the fact that in my previous model which was Carson uh, all the important and fastest wearing ball bearings was of the same size by that I mean the ball bearings in wheels and in the differential housing in team associated all of those uh, ball bearings are of different size so we have four sizes of ball bearings which you need to have with you on the track all the time which may make the maintenance a little bit more difficult in the future but it's not that big of a deal I believe When you install the rubber o-rings in the model it is important to moisture them first with uh, oil or grease uh, so they live longer and work properly. In terms of the oil in the shocks I've decided to go for 500 in the front and 400 in the back. It's the same as with the differentials of course I'll need to fine tune and find the perfect oil uh, setup for, for the track I ride, but this is my starting point. The kit comes with the double-sided tape which should be used to mount the ESC in the model. Unfortunately in my case, I don't know why, but it doesn't hold it in place, it was ungluing all the time. So what I've done was taking Shugu and using it to mount the ESC to the model and it is working great, no problems at all. As you may see the model is almost finished, uh, the whole construction process took me around a week but I was working, doing it only during evenings after work and I believe that if you are not recording and have some uh, experience in putting kits like that uh, together, two or three evenings are top, you need to, to make it. I hope you liked this video, if you did please uh, hit the subscribe and thumbs up button. If you have any questions, just drop a comment here and I will try to re reply as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more RC Bonk adventures. Bye bye.